What's happening people? Dan Lawless here back with another transfer video. In this episode I'm going to be talking about Man United trying to take the piss out of us and us taking the piss right back. Great stuff. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. The app that lets you capture all the stats, news and scores. Link in the description down below. And uh, also down below in the link in the description is my link to the other channel, Dan, Damo and Jay. So if you check that out and subscribe and support it, that would be great. Now let's get into it. So Issa Diop is a target of Man United. They are trying to sign the defender and, uh, you know, we all know what, what the situation is with their defence and uh, they've got their sights set on Diop, who had a great season with us last year and he looks to be a real, a real promising young talent and could be a real big player. And they've put a bid in of £45 million pounds plus a player. Now that player is rumoured to be none other than Phil Jones. Phil Jones. Are they taking the piss? Yes, they are. Phil Jones. They want to take a young, promising defender, centre-back, Issa Diop, and swap him for just the calamity that is Phil Jones and give us £45 million. I think not. It's a ridiculous offer to make. It's someone, you know, that we, we wouldn't even want. We wouldn't even want if you paid us double that and gave us Phil Jones. They should pay us to take Phil Jones. Um, so not interested in that deal. He's not for sale. Now, the rumours come out that we have countered that offer and said, right, you give us some money, I think 45, 50 million pounds and Anthony Martial, or it might have been 60 million and Martial or something like that, which they've turned down. Now, this has got all the Man United fans outraged and disgusted and all these other words that they've used how who, who do they think you now how dare they try and make an offer and try and ask for martial from us and it's you don't understand and this is the thing as well like because i think the price tag as well that was put on Mar uh diop with no players was 75 million pounds is what we've said to them for just straight cash now all these other news sites saying oh how can people say that diop is worth 75 million pounds we're not saying that Diop is worth £75 million. We're basically saying, piss off, he ain't for sale. And if you do want him, you better pay well over the odds to get him. And, or give us one of your most prized players and some money. It, it, that's, a, that's, a, that's basically a piss off um, offer, is what that is. And the amount of like thick, thick people out there that don't get that, they don't quite grasp the concept of us saying, right, um, you know, if you want to do this, if you want to sign our player, then, you know, you've got us pay well over the odds. You know, if, if you've got your this a car and it's your most beloved treasured car, you know, uh, it's beautiful, you spend time doing it up and all of that stuff. I'm not a car person, but imagine that. And you have no interest in selling it. And someone comes to buy it and says, I'll buy it. And you say, yeah, all right, it's a million pound if you want to buy it. Now, that car is worth nowhere near a million pound. But you basically say, yeah, that's a million pound if you want it. You know they ain't got a million pounds. You know you ain't selling the car. So I shouldn't even need to make that analogy. But apparently there's just some real stupid people out there who need to hear it. So it's it's good to hear that we're, we're being firm on, on, on that really and it's it just shows that the, the quality of a player and the that we have on our hands and he can only increase in value over time so whether he stays with us or whether we do end up selling him down the line we're going to get a lot of money if we do but I want to keep him I want to build and and having such a promising young defender is is exciting but the thing is right with Man United that that'd probably be a good deal for them really Diop for Martial because they really, really need a quality centre back. Their defence is a shambles. I mean, Smalling, Jones, that, that, that's just, they, that, that's the target they need to address the most out of all. And it's, they could have, have some hard times finding someone. So that might not be such a bad deal for them. But they ain't interested. We ain't interested. They ain't for sale. They've tried to sign Declan Rice. We ain't looking to sell him. And it just goes to show you how the pull of Man United as well has really 
uh, gone down over the, over the last few years. Since Alex Ferguson, it's been a club on the decline. And don't get me wrong, they're still a massive, massive club. But it's just, I mean, you look at the players that have gone there and, and, and wanting to leave and just having, having, been having a miserable time. Look what, they, look what they've done to Alexis Sanchez. So I don't see the overall big pull of Man United at the moment. They ain't in the Champions League. Ed uh, Woodward is just, I think, ruining the club, personally. I think he's the problem. But anyway, this is a West Ham channel. Um, we're keeping Issa Diop. They can jog on and look elsewhere. And that's all I've really got to say about it. Lastly, I want to talk about our striker situation. As you know, I've been saying that that's a position that we really, really need to be looking at with only Anatovic um, and Hernandez. And Hernandez looks to be on his way out. Apparently, he wants to secure, know about secure his future soon because he's, uh, I think he's got a kid on the way or something like that. So he wants to know what's happening. He wants to get uh, clarity, but I think he wants to move on, probably go to the MLS. So if he leaves, then we've just got an out of it. We're still trying to work on this Maxi Gomez deal, apparently, but it's not set in stone. So we need another striker. Now, a name that we are apparently interested in is Lorente, Fernando Lorente, Tottenham player who's just become a free agent. Um, talking about a one-year deal, see him in, as a replacement for Randy Carroll. 34 years old. 34 years old. Eight goals in 35 appearances last season. Not great. Um, I mean, I, I would say, I would have sort of took him as like a third choice. You think, all right, free agent. Third choice, why not? You know, we get another striker in, then we have an out of it, and if Fernandez leaves, he leaves, and he would be used as a, like a backup. But I mean, he did, and he did do kind of good in, in the, kind of well in the in the Champions League uh, for them. He scored a, some important goals, but he's he's on about eighty six grand a week. So you're signing this, and, and it's yeah, we're talking about a one year deal. It's not something that's going to be a long term thing, and you know, he'll be gone by the, by the end of next season. But we, we've cleared off a lot of Deadwood and a lot of Deadwood off the wage bill. I don't see the point in signing Lorente, who's a quick short-term backup. I'd rather sign a promising striker from the Championship. There's a lot of, of hungry and promising strikers from the Champions. And that is, hunger is another point. Is Lorente is on is on the, in the end of his coming to the end of his career. He's, he's going to be looking for a last payday. And that's it. It's not the sort of player that we really want. He'd probably be happy just to sit on the bench, really, and collect his wages. We want a player that's really wants to play in the Premier League, wants to be playing in the first team, he's going to be fighting. And knocking on the door. And I don't think that's Laurenti. I, I just think it's a, it'd be a pointless signing. Let's put our energy into signing our main target as a striker, Maxi Gomez. And I hope we've got someone quality as a backup option if it don't go through. Then let's sort out who this, this third choice or third striker could be. And let's get someone who's not at the end of their career, please. I have, I'm all for signing experience, but experience that can add to the team. You know, fill it up with youth and pockets of experience here and there, quality players, and you're onto a winner. Complete waste of time. So hopefully we don't go through with it. Hopefully there's no truth to it. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think in the link. In the, in the link. Are too many times in the link description below. In the comments section down below. Let me know, would you take Martial plus Cash? Rashford is another player who... Is, there's not many players from that team I would take, really. There's not that many players. Rashford, Martial, maybe. Um, but any, anyway, let me know who you'd take. But Diop, I want to keep him anyway. So let me know. Also, check out my interview with American Hammers. I've done an interview on American Hammers TV. It was a great chat. I talked about how I come to join in West Ham Fan TV and some of the behind the scenes stuff. Really good chat, so you can check that out there. And obviously don't forget to subscribe to Dan Damo and Jace. And of course, most importantly, subscribe to us if you ain't already. One thing left to say, come on you irons.